Usually when we come up with like an action sequence for our shows and we bring them to production and we tell them exactly what we want to do, they, they always give us kind of like a sidelong glance like, oh, you want to do what? The situations where Chuck is, you know, being saved, I mean, it's so intrinsic, I think, to the show itself, you know, that, that's what gives his handler's purpose. That's why, you know, that's why Casey and Sarah exist to begin with. Chuck, are you okay? Chuck, hey. You know, I often get asked about that, the, the whole role reversal, how the woman is the one fighting. I, I never really thought about that until... People started asking me. It seems very natural to me that <laughs> that I would be the one protecting Chuck. Run! This year we said, okay, all the great stuff we did in that last year, we want to take it even further. This season we had Chuck hanging upside down, a hundred feet up by his ankles, and uh, Michael Clark Duncan had him. He drops him. Our stunt man fell 33 feet, got snagged by Casey, swung onto the balcony. In season two especially, I think they've really amped up the stunts and we've had a lot of wire work and explosions. Oh! Oh! Good morning, Chuck. We usually want to put an action sequence, something, an action sequence in, into each episode, and that action sequence should be different because being an action comedy, we can't simply just do a regular car chase or a gunfight or an explosion. We want to come up with something different about it. And so it's a combination of the writers, the directors, Merritt, and the actors really working hard to come up with inventive ways uh, of staging fight scenes. Fight scenes are something I'm familiar with. I've been doing them since I began. And uh, I, like, I like getting in there and mixing it up. You get bumps and bruises, but you know, that's what stunt guys are for. Most fights don't last that long. Uh, they're over pretty quickly if you're willing to kill the person. <sighs> we are very lucky on Chuck that we have uh, Mary Yanka, who's our stunt coordinator, Emmy Award winning stunt coordinator. My job is to design the stunts, figure out what is doable, what isn't doable, and then train the actors and get the best shots we can and keep everybody safe. Is that a Crown Victoria? Somebody order drive through. Oh, get up, get up. There are times where I, I am uh, concerned for the, the health and well-being of our actors. I do a lot of my own stunts, yeah. I love it. It's one of my favorite parts of the show. <laughs> it's so fun. The producers are very careful to not have me get uh, in car crashes or uh, fire explosions, that sort of thing, high falls. Uh, so I appreciate that. That's job security I, I appreciate. There's no stunt that I'm afraid to do um, because I'm not that bright. Zach ends up doing most of the comedy gags, and he's amazing. I hate Bryce Larkin. He's a great athlete. And an and adrenaline junkie. I mean, I love skydiving and bungee jumping. He's like a, a young Dick Van Dyke, a young Jerry Lewis. Hey! Hey! You know, he's really talented uh, agility wise and, and and furthermore I, I i i trust our stunt coordinator and our stunt team uh implicitly i mean i just think that uh, merit is just a great a great guy and a great stunt man and um so if he says hey we're gonna hang you up on this wire and you're gonna be up there 500 feet and you're gonna be hanging there for a while uh or you're, you're gonna swing from here to here or you're gonna hop in this car and you're gonna be doing about 85 with our stunt driver or whatever, I say, Yahoo, buckle up, let's go, cowboy. I'm ready to, ready to rock this. That's not technical stunt talk, but in that vein. The character of Chuck, you know, he, he definitely finds himself in a lot of precarious situations where he's jumping off of something or falling or running away and screaming like a little girl. Um, 
and I want to do all of that. I mean, I want to do as much as they let me do. He helps us out a lot. He does most of his own stuff and, until we get the big gags going on. Like the Emmy award, Emmy award winning stunt that our Merritt, Merritt Yonka, our, our stunt coordinator, won. Um, that was Chuck and Casey falling like seven stories off of a balcony into a pool. They didn't get to do that one either. Which was a bummer. That really looked fun. Well, that's my job. It's, safety is our number one issue when we're talking about any, any stunt. Because we want to, we don't want to be hurting stunt people. We don't want to be hurting any, anybody. And it, it's, it's our main goal. When we look at any setup, we have to make it as safe as we can. You know, jumping onto an elevator outside of the St. Bonaventure, I'm not doing that either. If we're doing anything that we could injure them, we have to double them because it doesn't make sense to, you know, tweak a wrist or something. Fortunately, my stunt double is awesome. Dave Castillo, awesome. Uh, so I'm happy for him that he gets to do the cool stuff like that. Uh, but as much as they'll let me do, I love doing it. You know, the most demanding stuff is just when we have to do like a running sequence over and over and over and over again. But hey, it's a good workout. Nicole Richie came on the show and played Sarah's high school nemesis, who of course has turned out to be a super bad guy. We knew from the get-go when we cast Nicole that we wanted to have a girl kung fu fight scene. Didn't think that was standard issue for a girl in frozen yogurt. <laughs> and the idea was like, well, we also have this fantastic high school setting. Let's put it in a locker room. And the moment you think that idea of like, let's put it in the locker room, then you're like, there's also showers in the locker room. So why can't the showers be going during the fight scene as well? All of it an excuse to get, you know, Sarah and, uh, and Nicole Richie's character battling it out in a shower using like pipes, uh, soaking wet. It was awesome. Nicole was totally game. And uh, it's probably one of the best fights we've ever done. We tend to do fight scenes a lot, but I have to say, fighting Nicole Richie in Sarah's flashback episode was pretty awesome. <laughs> I was a little concerned when they cast Nicole because of her size. Uh, Yvonne is very strong, very big kick. I don't really work out. I kind of have that, that lazy thing going on. We had no idea if Nicole would be interested or like you know, into the idea of like you're doing a big fight sequence. And she was not only interested, she was fantastic in the part. All the, the fighting, number one, is, is, um, is the most fun part. The moment we saw that fight sequence, we knew that we had something really special, is that, they were, that, that we had two great actresses, you know, kind of duking it out. Heather? Why'd you do it, Heather? My husband wasn't ambitious enough, and these Russians offered me a lot of money. It's been interesting. I'm definitely a little bit sore. But you know what? I, I feel really good. I gotta say, Nicole did a great job. She, she was tough. She hung in there. I'm really excited. Really, really excited. And there's water involved for all the guys, and you know, it's gonna be good. It's a very interesting feature, just how nasty it is, how visceral it is. And um, it's not simply just two girls, like two pretty girls attacking each other. It feels like two people really going after each other. It was great. <laughs> the show is going and everything. For Yvonne, it's like, you know, she loves doing these fight scenes. It's like our actors really get into the idea of like how making these action sequences possible. They came from a dance background, so you know, when you're a dancer, you learn routines. And when you learn a fight, it's a routine, except it's a different style.